it is always easier to copy going down than up. What you want to do is highlight the text, hold shift on your keyboard, copy. Make sure you start for the rubric at the download submission comments. You can see where I did that on my end. And use the keyboard shortcuts, control C and control V to paste it into your spreadsheet. Now we want to delete this column since it's just our rubric and it doesn't contain any information about our students. Make sure there's a row at the very top where you can put your students' names. Make sure that you change the color so you can easily see where to type out the names. Now you can change the student on the top right of the speed grader and you can see that the part of the rubric that you copy and pasted still remains highlighted. So you don't have to redo that action again. You're going to delete, then hide, and do the same process every time you copy and paste the data. Make sure that you are remembering to put the student's name so you don't forget where you are. You can see that I get faster because I don't always scroll down on the rubrics page. I figured that if it's copy and pasting the right way for all the other ones, I could just um, go and copy, paste, copy, paste, just switch through the tabs. And you can also turn on shortcuts on your sheets and it makes it easier to delete and to hide columns using those shortcuts. If you go to help on the menu, you can scroll down and there's keyboard shortcuts, click that. And then at the very bottom of that, it says enable compatible spreadsheet shortcuts. You can turn that on. It gives you a list there. Uh, for this, you can just use the deleting column shortcut. So if you don't know what that is, you can search that and it makes it easier and faster. So for this spreadsheet, I'm using the count if function. You're going to want to find your range and then the criteria, which for this case, I'm going to do the two slash two points and the zero slash two points. So for uh, that, I want to make sure I'm using the exact spaces, the exact phrase. So, and I'm going to count um, how many two points there are and then how many one points and how many zero points. So I'm going to have a column for each of those criteria. When I use functions and I use a specific range, I see if, if I copy and paste the function for the next row, if it pulls the range I want. And if it does, I can just copy and paste those functions. You can see I'm doing that there. And then I don't have to retype the function. So it makes it faster to add in the data and to organize the data. The last thing I try to do when I use functions to organize data, I color code them. You can use the cond conditional formatting for this, or you can just color code based on what you want to visualize the data. So for this spreadsheet and using the count if function, you can see that I found out how many students got full points on that first part of the rubric, how many students got one point or zero points. There's a lot you can do. You don't have to just use this function. I would try to look online to see other ways that you can interpret data using functions. Um, I added a link to tips and tricks of using spreadsheets. You can find that on the blog that I wrote about this spreadsheet.